everybody, good morning. This is Michelle, and I'm here with a very short, quick tutorial on how to make this cover for a mini composition book. I was playing with some ideas last night and came up with this cover, and so instead of just gluing the papers onto the composition book, I decided to make a refillable cover. And what I'm going to do is like package this with another composition book and then a glitter pen. Um, and it's just a simple Bic pen that I added glitter to, but it makes a really cute little presentation for a gift. I'm going to be doing a craft fair coming up in the, the 1st of May. And I thought this would be kind of cute for a little quick, um, you know, like it could be a little Mother's Day gift or a friendship gift or even, you know, just a gift for yourself. But it's really cute. And I'm going to package it with another composition book so you can refill it. The cover is reusable. And then in each of the little packages, I'm going to put a little tag um, for like a bookmark. And then just simply decorate the cover. Um, so the notebook will just slip in. This is made like peachy style. So it will just slip right in to the side covers. And then that also will kind of create like a pocket so they could tuck a little note or something in there if they want to. And, you know, voila, you have this cute little notebook and it just slips right out and then slips right in. So you can see, it's just really super cute. You can use scraps of paper. This will take um, half of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, so you can make two out of one of them and it works out really good. And then um, on this one, I just used some stuff from my stash to decorate the front so they weren't even from the same paper collection or anything. I just kind of saw what I thought went well together. And then um, again, a tag and I just tied a little ribbon. Um, I did tie a ribbon around through the middle of the notebook just to kind of help also secure it in the notebook and add a little bit of, you know, flair to it. So, and that tucks there and then I'll put it with another notebook and then I'll add the pen. And that'll be really cute. So these notebooks I found at my local Bymart store and they came in a package of four and they're 80 sheets. They measure three and a quarter by four and a half. So that's what I'm basing all my measurements on for today. So I thought I would show you that. So I have enough to make um, some more. So I picked out a couple composition notebooks that I'm going to use for this. And then I'm, I picked out my pattern paper. I went through my stash of Country Craft Creations papers. And I had this perfect sized piece of paper that I thought would make a really pretty notebook. I thought I'd use this on the front. And then I used, I'm going to use one of the die cuts for the decoration on the front. Um, also one of the die cuts I thought made a really cute little tag. So I backed it on a piece of the pattern paper, added an eyelid in this one, and then a little bit of um, the really skinny kind of satin ribbon through it to make that. The pens are super easy to make um, because basically all you need is some glitter, and I just made a little um, funnel with a piece of paper, and then you just pop the top off, put the little funnel in there, and put glitter into about here. And then um, I put it to the side, you know, um, to get the glitter kind of flat, and then pop the pen back in. And then that's like literally all you have to do to make the pen. So you don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want to, but I thought that was kind of fun. And um, it works really good, and it's kind of splashy and sparkly, and I thought that the blue pens worked real good with this paper collection. So that's pretty much all I did. And like I said, I made a funnel. I just took a post-it note, and with the sticky side out, I just kind of wound it around and made a funnel. Okay, and then you can take a piece of tape, you know, to keep that funnel shape. And then I just popped it in the top of that pen and poured the glitter in there. So it worked out really well. Um, so that's how I did that. And this glitter, I think I got at the Buy Mart as well. Um, so let's get on to the tutorial. I have my piece of satin uh, ribbon that I'm going to use. And you just need a few things. So the pattern paper itself is 10 by 5 and 5 eighths. And that gives a little bit of wiggle room all the way around for all of this. So on the 10 inch side, you're going to score at one and a half and at eight and a half. And then you're going to turn it to the five and five eighths inch side. You're going to score at half and then turn it and score at half. Okay. Because this is five and five eighths. You cannot score, um, at, you know, like five, you have to turn it to get the right score. Okay. Um, Either that or score at five and then five and one eighth, but you have to have a half inch on each side. That's all the scoring that you're going to do. 
And then you're going to just take your little scissors and we're gonna make little tabs. So these, these bottom pieces, I'm going to fold, I'm gonna make tabs on all of the little half inch things because the bottom ones, this is what's going to fold to create your pocket on the side. And then this, I'm gonna fold over just to reinforce that edge and make a nice pretty kind of rounded edge on the outside, okay? So I'm just making tabs here, just cutting those wedges out like so. Okay, do that on all the four corners. Like that, okay? So all of those are tabbed. And then I'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines all the way around. Get all my little bits out of the way. And that becomes a little pocket that your notebook slips in. And I love the fact that this is, um, this is refillable. So if you do it for yourself and you go and find these little composition books then you can just keep putting them back in. So you have this nice little cover. And if you use quality paper, you know, like this paper is amazing. This is by Country Craft Creations. This is called Bloom Where You're Planted, and it's, a, it's an amazing paper collection. It's just gorgeous. And it's real, I chose it because I, it, I had the scrap um, that I wanted for this, but also it's great paper. It's very sturdy, it's beautiful, it feels good. It has, um, has kind of a smooth, um, almost silky, satiny feel to it. Um, I think. So I'm just taking the two tabs and I'm just gluing them down and burnishing them down. And again, that's just going to help reinforce those edges. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm using my art glitter glue again from Country Craft Creations. And then of course, depending on the paper that you're using, you can, um, ink it if you want to, you know, whatever vibe you're going for. Um, you will need different measurements for different size notebooks. So I just basically um, did it the height of the notebook. And then I did it about twice the notebook. I'll open this up so you can see with a little bit of wiggle room. So that's why it ended up being, um, if we do it all told, it is about, let me grab my ruler and I can tell you for sure, if I can tell what I do with my ruler, it is about a half inch bigger width-wise than the notebook, and that gives a lot of wiggle room and makes sure that you have enough space. So um, again, the height of this plus an inch for the fold-overs, so half inch on each side, and then about a half an inch bigger than the full open um, thing. So if that's the if you have a different side notebook, that's the formula. So then these little tabs, what I ended up doing was I took a little piece of tape because I wanna make sure that my notebook goes in nicely and doesn't get caught up on these tabs. So I'm gonna just put a little tape on the tabs from the inside, okay? Like so, okay? So they're sticky on the outside. And then I'm gonna fold these over. I'm gonna add my glue. And I'm only adding the glue to the paper, not to the tape. I just wanna glue that. And then I'm going to just fold that over. That tape will help cover those tabs and make sure that your notebook slides in really nice and easy. I'm just gonna burnish those down really well, make sure that everything's stuck nice, and then we're gonna repeat that process. So a couple little pieces of tape here, one there, and another one here. And then Repeat that process. I'll link the uh, paper collection from Country Craft Creations to this video. So down in the description, I will have some information. I will have the uh, measurements for the pattern paper that you need. And then, yeah, the rest is up to you. You can go to town making these and they're so much fun and they are so pretty. I just love them. Okay, so now you have this, so that's what that looks like. And then what I ended up doing was kind of through the middle, just kind of rounded it just a little bit where it's going to fold over the edge of my notebook. 
So I just did a little bit of a curve there just to kind of give it um, a little bit of a start. I did not score the end of that. And then you just take your little notebook and you pop that in there like that. And you pop that in there like that. If you want to, you could put some pattern paper on the insides, but I kind of chose not to do that. And then there you go, that's it. I took my ribbon here and I'm going to tie that through. And this is the tricky part because I did have to um, <laughs> put it down in between my knees to hold it shut to make sure I tied it right. So I'm gonna do that real quick, I'll be right back. So I tied that around and like I said, I held it in between my knees so I could keep it shut and keep the ribbon where I needed it to be so I could um, tie it. <laughs> So, you know, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so then I'm just going to trim those edges. And then I'm going to grab my lighter. And um, I'm going to just seal those edges so they don't fray. When you do this, just be careful. It will melt a little bit and it will seal those edges. Um, but just be careful. Don't burn yourself, okay? Um, you can use glue if you want. Um, but that will take time to dry, okay? So there, your notebook is complete. That's it. So then I have my tag all ready to go, and that will just tuck in here for presentation. And then the decoration on the front, I'm just gonna go real simple and put that beautiful die cut there. I like the pop of yellow um, with the blue. I just think that's really super pretty. And this is going to be just a very cute, simple, beautiful little presentation. And then I'll wrap it up pretty with this other notebook that I have laying here. And then so it'll be refillable. And so I'll package it kind of like that so they can see what's on the inside with the cute little pen. And isn't that adorable? So that's what I wanted to show you. It's just a really super quick little refillable cover for a composition book. And I think it would make a really cute little gift for somebody. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Go visit Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com and check out all the paper collections. And again, you could make two of these out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. All right, that's all I got. I hope you have a great Saturday. Have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.